So the title to this video is a little misleading. The answer is yes, but the answer is also no. Depending on several factors, including trail conditions and how much weight you have in your vehicle when you actually make the attempt, will determine whether or not you're able to successfully climb the hill. So the roots are a lot bigger than when we were up here like a month ago. Let me try a different, uh, different line. Yeah, I tell you a passenger, you should clear that. Yeah, I'm just trying not to run into those uh, too hard because they're pretty blunt. so difficult is every time I had to back up after an attempt, the ruts and the roots within the road combined with the snow and ice would pull my vehicle in a direction aligned with gravity and I had little to no control over the actual direction that I was going. You'll see that in the following few attempts that I continue to be pulled downward towards the side of the hill. Here's one of those ruts that is much bigger than it was when I attempted the same hill a month prior without snow and ice. Unfortunately, in this particular instance, the rut actually bumped the car enough to the left that I lost complete traction. On this attempt, I actually took the line with the least amount of loose snow. However, this included the largest roots and the most ice. You know what, it looks like you probably could cut on the passenger and once you get over to the roots, you just go That's over, what yeah, go, because you're going to use the roots as traction. Yeah, okay. When you hit it the first time, you were spinning on your passenger wheel because you were just going towards the middle of it. I really do think I could have made it if I reattempted with a little bit more momentum. I really only had maybe stop. three to five feet more before I was at driver, the crest. Driver, However, this was my last attempt at the hill, and as you can see, the hill continued to pull me onto the left and down the side. That's it, that's it. Don't go any further. Fortunately, in this instance, my hitch actually dug itself into the hill. Go. You'll see a chunk of snow on my hitch receiver in just a few moments. But what you can't really tell from this angle is I was sliding backwards and I could not turn out of the side of the hill. Gravity just continued to want to pull me to the left-hand side 
until ultimately I stopped and my hitch dug itself into a dirt mound. Luckily, I had lots of friends with me and they were super helpful using the traction boards to help me get recentered on the trail and back down. He doesn't want to go up. You're going to need more runway than that. I mean, I was thinking go around this way. Hard, hard cut on passenger. You're going to ice out on here. I need to put the tracks out, though. I have, like, no traction. Out it's right under his rear. It's kind of hard to grab. Nice. If you can't go up it, you might as well go down it. But this will give you good perspective on just how steep and slippery this hill climb is. As you can tell, all my wheels were locked up there for a second. And you'll see me slide down a couple of times and bump down on the roots and nuts. <laughs> 